Hey folks, this is gonna be a real quick video. I wanna share with you a case that I had come across for a T-Deck. Here, let me show it to you real quick. Now this is a case from Rockland and I found this or I came across this at the Irving Ham Fest last weekend and it's a pretty cool case. And as you can see here, it's, uh, it's you know, reasonable, it's $30. And like I said, this is for the T-Deck and it uh, looks like a super nice case. One of the guys uh, that was at the show came up and showed me the uh, the T-Deck that they had. Of course, it was flashed with the 2.6 preview firmware and man, it just looked sharp. So I thought uh, I would get one of these and do a little replacement of the... Um, of the 3D printed case. And this is a 3D printed case as well, but I would do a replacement of the 3D printed case that that I was currently using with my T-Deck. And first of all, let me just say that uh, this is an Alley Cat case. Alley Cat, love the work that you do. Uh, this was printed for me by Bill, Ham Radio Tectonics. Bill, you know I love you, man. I just wanted to try something different. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick swap of the T-Deck into this case and show you guys how it looks. All right, let's go. Here's the case I'm currently using with the T-Deck. This is an Alley Cat case, very well designed case. And like I said, Bill printed this for me and uh, it's been working just fine. I just want to try something new. So let's, uh, let's check out the new case. Now it looks like this comes with all the hardware that you need. Now they also, Rockland also sells this as a package with a T-Deck, with a GPS and everything else. And I think it's right around a hundred bucks, which is, really a pretty good deal. But I, of course, already had a T-Deck, so I just needed the case. All right, let's see what's going on here. So, yeah, so just a, a couple little differences here, right? In the, uh, in the Alley Cat design, you can see clear across the, uh, the case itself here at the trackball, where in this design, there's actually some 3D printed uh, material there, which, um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. All right, let's see, how do we get this thing open? Just a press fit. Yeah, it appears to be just a press fit. Okay, very cool. Set that out of the way. Okay. All right, now there were uh, some instructions, I think, on the on the bag, there's a QR code to print some instructions on the bag, but uh, I think we can likely figure this thing out without instructions. Famous last words. Let's see what we got in here. Well, let's just take a look here. We got a little slide switch. We've got a antenna um, connector with an SMA. So that's great. We do have some screws here. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like uh, this is a little interesting, a little bit of a different design, right? The screws go through the top in the bottom here, which that's cool. That's different. I haven't seen a design like that before. All right, let's go ahead and get this one taken apart. Okay, let me grab my little fix it set of bits here. And this has some sort of little hex that looks to be about the right size. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Now, for those of you familiar with the Alley Cat uh, design, there's a couple of screws at the top, and then there's a little tab that kind of fits underneath the front part of the case on the bottoms. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take out the battery here. Okay. And I just kind of had this hand tight. The hardest part about getting this board in this case is just kind of forcing it, um, forcing it, this antenna connector in here. I had a heck of a time getting it in, so I'm going to see, let's see what I've got there. A little lock washer, another little washer. Let's see if we can't force this guy out. Excellent, that felt pretty good. 
and we'll press fit into that case and we can set and set that aside cool all right now let's see what we've got going on here i'm not sure what this little shuttle here is i guess it's probably to keep the battery in a good spot let's see okay that kind of pops in there but that's that's a nice nice fit right there of course this thing's green so getting interesting i'm getting a little bit of a reflection off the green screen so that's fun all right let's go ahead let me just leave the antenna connector that i had on it those little ipx connectors can be a pain i think we'll just leave the one that's on it there oh yeah that's smart um it's designed to just kind of slide over that switch or if you guys can see that there so there's the on off switch and then this has just got a slot so that it can slide and then when you push it obviously it, it'll push the uh the switch there well that's a, a much easier fit let's see what i can do here just to have that lay a little better Okay, that looks good. Let's see what this little shuttle appears to do. I mean, it's obvious that the battery fits right in there. I mean, that's a no-brainer. And, uh, you know, this is a very popular battery, this, uh, this Maker Focus 3000 milliamp hour. So it's nice that it's designed to, to work right with that. I see that uh, i got to remember this little shuttle piece. is here let's pop that back out let's get this little shuttle in place and then this looks like i'm gonna fit that let's see boy that's really designed well i really like that you've got access to the sd card slot there Well, that fits pretty doggone good there. That makes sense. I see there's uh, some ridges here where this kind of presses in. Oh yeah, that's where that belongs. Okay, that's cool. Let me go ahead and let's figure out this guy right here. So I've got to get this kind of up a little bit so I can slide this switch in and then let it just slot in along that groove for the switch itself yeah how about that that looks pretty cool okay i like that and then let's see here let's go ahead and i'm going to use i'm just going to use those same parts lock washer on there good enough I just want it to be a little firm. I'm not worried about it being super tight. I can just engage that split washer, that lock washer a little bit. That thing won't go anywhere. Let's see here. I probably want to flip this battery. I'm just looking at where my battery connector is. I put it on the same side here. It looks to be the spot. that plugged in hold that down and then let's just put it together I'm trying to do it with the battery laying in position you can see i've got a couple standoffs here that slide into slots right so these standoffs here slide into these slots Nothing really on the bottom side, but I'm just trying to keep this kind of in the right spot, this little shuttle with the battery in the right spot. So I'm going to keep it on its back and try to maneuver everything else in. Something doesn't quite feel right. I'm not forcing anything. I'm kind of letting it fall together or come together. 
doesn't quite feel right there. So let's take a look and see what's wrong. So the battery is really kind of below, just barely below the height of these vertical stands here. So I don't think the battery's getting in the way. Let's see how it fits without the battery. And then we'll have a feel for the way it should fit with the battery. Oh, so that's pressed in. And that goes together super easy. A couple holes there, I think, for speaker. Reset button hole. Get a feel for how that looks. I like that little bit of protection for the trackball. Man, I like this case. It's a smart design. But it does not seem like that battery should be causing a problem. But uh, I don't know if it's bumping into this guy right here. Let's take a pause here and I'll break down and look at the instruction. All right, let's see here. So I am back to the website and there's a case assembly guide here. So let's take a look at this. All right, we see our parts and pieces. That is a battery holder. Remove the rear case assembly. Let's keep going. Disconnect the speaker. Oh, I see where we're headed here. I see where we're headed. It looks like we're going to relocate the speaker. I pried the speaker off of this little spot here, disconnected it, and it snaps, actually snaps right into this little, this little section of the case here. Snaps right in there. It's not going to go anywhere. It's actually pointing straight out those holes. That's fantastic. So right now, I'm just putting these little nuts into these slots. Once I can get it close, where I can see part of it, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I can just stick this point down in and pull it deeper into that hole. So I'll be able to get there. You can see I'll be able to get the screws in there. Making sure I don't lose my, lose my nuts. Yeah, I said it. All right. And let's see what happens. Making sure I don't pinch any wires. That one there's got me a little worried. Let's get you out of the way. Yeah, everything there looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Gosh, and that just, you know, fits like it should. Don't force things is really the moral of that story. And read the directions, right? All right, let's go ahead and... All right, so great case, great design. Follow the instructions. Certainly appears to be worth the 30 bucks, in my opinion. All right. Well, there we have it. All right, folks. Well, there we go. This is the, the Rockland T-Deck case. Pretty slick. I really like the case. I'm impressed. I tell you, between the new firmware and the new case, man, I'm excited to be carrying this thing. All right, folks, but wasn't quite as quick as I was anticipating, but hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you on the next one. 7-3.